Hi, everyone. Uh, hopefully you've called in to the right number. We are going to do a catalog card training session today. Uh, my name is Morgan Trainer, and I am in the Construction Operations Department here in the Minneapolis office. Uh, so if this is your first time joining one of these sessions, I just want to do a few housekeeping things. The first is you are on mute. So if you are trying to communicate with me or ask a question or are having an issue, I won't be able to hear you. The reason we mute everyone is just to help with background noise and uh, things like that. So uh, please send me an email or use the chat function instead uh, to communicate anything with me. Uh, at the end of the session, I will uh, unmute all of you so we can have an open Q&A time. However, if you want to send me emails or use the chat function to uh, ask any questions along the way, I will be checking those two areas. Okay? All right. So, like I said, we are going to discuss catalog cards in both Prolog Mobile and in ProLion. And so the agenda will go like this. We will first start in Prolog Mobile, and we'll talk specifically about capturing photos and videos and how those integrate to ProLiance. Uh, we'll talk about progress photos and like owner update photos and things like that, um, and how you're able to capture those, pin those in Prolog Mobile, and how they integrate to ProLiance. Then we'll jump into ProLiance, and we're going to talk about all of the other catalog card options that you have. So you don't just have photos. You have 20 to 30 options to choose from. And we'll talk about how you can batch upload um, and then distribute those uh, to anyone who needs to see them. So that's kind of how our agenda will flow. All right. OK, I'll minimize this. So um, over here on my right-hand side of the screen, you'll see I have on the green up. And so for any of you who might have questions afterwards or just need some guidance with the catalog cards and uh, I'm not available, you can always reference our work instructions online. Now these are stored under the ProLiance wiki page. So if you just type in ProLiance and click Enter, You'll be, you can then hit this initial uh, Ryan Wiki's ProLiance page. And this page has links to all of the ProLiance documents available. And so if we scroll all the way down to File Management, there's a catalog card link. This link then will bring you to the one work instruction that we have. Catalog cards are pretty simple, so there's not a lot to them. So we have one catalog card, and when you open that up, it's just in a PDF form for you. So we'll kind of go through all of these, but this is definitely a step-by-step -step instruction that shows you how to do all the things that we'll be discussing today. Okay? So I'm going to minimize ProLiance, and I am instead going to start in Prolog Mobile. Now, for those of you who are not uh, using Prolog Mobile on your project currently, and you would like to, please just send me and your PA an email, and we'll get your project set up. If you were unable to attend any of the training sessions that Mike Ernst and I put on uh, with Prolog Mobile, uh, I am not going to go and do an introduction into Prolog Mobile in this session. I'm going to specifically talk about catalog cards. And so there are other sessions, and we can discuss this offline if you just need more information on Prolog Mobile in general. For those of you who are using Prolog Mobile, I hope you find that when we're talking about the photo upload process, that it seems pretty efficient and fast uh, and intuitive. OK. So I am in a test project. And if you are in Prolog Mobile and you have your account set up, I highly recommend that you follow along with me. It might make this training session a little more interactive. So feel free to log into Prolog Mobile and go into the Prolog Mobile test project. You should all have access to that. All right. Now in the left-hand side, you're going to select the button. And I'm going to select Photos. These are all the other documents here that are housed in Prolog Mobile, but we're going to specifically talk about photos. OK? Now, when I click on the list view down at the bottom, this shows me a list of all of the photos or photo catalog cards that have been saved for my project. If I click on the plan view icon, 
this gives me a very nice uh, picture of where all those photos were taken. So I'm going to start here. What we've done here uh, is we have a lot of pins. The pins are located, you'll see, in each room. And so what this allows uh, your project team to do is they can go into one of these pins and begin to add photos or videos uh, based on the room that they're in. So we'll jump into that a little bit later once we start talking about catalog cards. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you the visual side of it versus when you're on the list view, just kind of the list view. All right? So to create a photo catalog card in Prolog Mobile, you're going to click on the Add button. Now you'll be prompt to create a brand new document, or you can create it from your camera. So let's say I obviously, since this is a photo catalog card, I want to take this from my camera. Now my iPad camera will open, and I'm able to take a picture of something out at the job site. I'm going to click on Use Photo. And now I'm prompt here to enter just one field in my photo catalog card document. All that I need to enter here is the title. So I might enter WebEx Training. And maybe I'll enter the date. Okay. Now, for those of you who are unaware, to get rid of your keyboard on your screen, you can click on the bottom right button, and that will uh, remove the keyboard. Another thing you can do, if I tap back on that title page, is I can use my microphone. So if I wanted to tap on the microphone and speak into my iPad and have it uh, copy the text into this field, I could do that as well. So I'll go ahead and do that as an example. WebEx training. And you'll see that it copied that information. Now I can always go back in by placing my finger on the text. And if I wanted to uppercase that, I could. OK? Now the date that this photo has been taken will auto-populate to today's date. If for some reason you wanted to backdate it, you certainly could. The category that's defaulted is progress photo. We anticipate that a majority of the photos you take will be progress photos. However, you can upload videos. You can do field conditions, existing conditions, etc. So there's a lot of category options for you here. And these tie directly in with ProLiance. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Close button. Now, I can also come in here and select my name as the one who uploaded this photo. Now, this isn't necessary, uh, but <clears throat> you can do it. Most of the other documents in Prolog Mobile will auto-populate these fields for you. For some reason, the photo uh, catalog card document doesn't. So by clicking on the search button and starting to type in my name, I'm able to quickly find it in lieu of having to scroll through the entire address book. OK? Now, the only tab I need to go to is this Files tab on the bottom. You'll see here that I have one image added. And it's the one that I just took of my phone. So what I might do is tap on the file name. And I can backspace this. And let's say I actually want to call this something so that if I'm searching for it in the future, um, I have something besides just the generic captured image. Now something else you can do is you can annotate this photo. So by clicking on the Annotate button, I can now add some text or add some shapes, arrows, to point out exactly what it is I want to highlight. So I'm going to tap on the Paint Brush. And I can draw an arrow and maybe circle what it is that I'm looking at. I could tap down here and also enter some text. So phone. 
All right. I can also change the size of the text from small, medium, or large. And then when I'm done, I can click Done. Now that was just very quick on how you're able to annotate any kind of photo that you pull into Prolog Mobile. And now I'm going to click the Save button. So I've renamed this file, WebEx Training, and I've annotated on it. When I'm done, I can click Back to Photos. Now let's say I want to add another photo. So for this catalog card, I want to add multiple photos. I can click on this Add button, and I can take another photo. I can also go and search for the photos that I've taken on my iPad. So I could click on Media from Device, and now it's going to bring up my camera roll. So if I wanted to pull in a photo that I've taken, I can do that as well. So you can pull in photos or videos that you take immediately, or ones that you have stored in your photo album. Now this catalog card is going to have two photos. I'm done with this photo catalog card, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Save button. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring me back to this list view. And you'll notice here that it's fall to the bottom of my list. And the sync status says Pending Upload. This just means that I have not synced Prolog Mobile and pushed that to ProLiance. So let's talk about that integration. What happens here now is when I sync this document, it's going to integrate to, Pro, to ProLiance, and it will be saved as a photo catalog card. It will be just one catalog card with two attachments, because that's the number of files I added. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Sync button. And I'm going to talk about the syncing options here. Now, the download data would mean that I want to pull data from ProLiance onto Prolog Mobile. So I'm going to toggle that off, uh, only because I want to upload this new photo. I'm also going to toggle off the download file, file library, because what that will do is download all of my submittals and drawings. I instead just want to upload my photo catalog card. So I'm going to leave this one toggled on. And I'm also going to leave this project only toggled on, meaning that it's only going to upload new documents for this project only. It's not going to worry about all the other projects I have access to. And now I'm going to click the Sync button. So this message is going to tell me it has found one new photo record to send. It's sending that up to ProLiance. And now what it's doing is it's going to upload my individual photos. Okay. So depending on the size of the photos and the number of photos that I've captured, it could take anywhere from a minute to five, let's say. Okay. So for time's sake, I'm going to click Cancel, and I'll sync when we are looking back into ProLiance. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to this plan view. What we essentially just did is we created a photo catalog card, added two photos, and now I'm going to push that to ProLiance. There are two kind of categories that we recommend when you're doing catalog cards in Prolog Mobile. And that has to do with your owner updates and your progress photos. So back to this example. What we have here is we have a pin or a catalog card document for each room on my building. So if I go into the men's restroom, I can click on that pin, and I can see that the catalog card is titled 1266, which is the room number, men's restroom, and progress photos. Now I'm going to click open by clicking on this icon right here. And this is going to take me into that catalog card. Now what I can do is I can click on Files. And the last photo that was taken was on April 1st. Now if I have, am back in that room and I want to take a progress photo, I can click the Add button and I can add another photo. 
So what this allows you to do is to categorize all of your progress photos by room. So instead of just uploading thousands of photos, um, you can instead upload them and categorize them by room or area or floor or however you want to do that. So now I have two photos, one in April that I took April 1st and the second one that I took on May 23rd. What will happen is this photo catalog card will be updated in ProLiance by adding this second photo. So throughout the duration of my project, I could add 200 photos to this one single catalog card. This will ensure that if anybody needs to come back to look at my photos, let's say there's a warranty issue in this men's restroom, they don't need to sort through thousands of photos. They can instead go to the one catalog card that's for the men's restroom, and they can look at those 200 photos instead. So again, one nice and easy way to be able to categorize all of your progress photos. When I'm done then, I can click the Save button. So how this could be set up is prior to going out to the job, you could have someone on your team just add these pins, which equate to just a catalog card. And once they sync and everybody on the team syncs, then everybody will see the same number of pins. What we don't want teams to do is everybody individually create their own pins. Because then, if I have five people who have created five pins for this room, I'll see all five of them. So we really want to have one person enter that information, save it, sync it, and then everybody else can capture that and use it moving forward. The other way that we recommend uh, using catalog cards is if you have uh, your, your owner updates. And so if you do those weekly or monthly, what you could do is you could create a catalog card and you could call it Owner Update May. And so then what you could do is you could continuously add new photos that are uh, special enough or unique enough to be a part of that owner update. And throughout the whole month of May, you can just continuously add to this catalog card. All right? So then what I could do is come here to Files, and I can just add as many photos here as I want to that I think would be helpful for that owner update. Then you could create one for June and one for July and so on. That way, when you save and sync this document, the PAs and the PMs on your team in the office are able to go to one single catalog card and look at all of the attachments and then pull those attachments into the PowerPoints or whatever you're using for your owner updates. So instead of you having to take your camera, take photos, hook it up to your laptop, make sure you're connected to the Ryan network, load all those files into your J drive or Y drive. I mean, all that takes an enormous amount of time, especially depending on your connection out at the trailer or at the job site. So instead, what you can do is take those photos in Prolog Mobile, save the documents, sync them uh, whenever you remember to sync, and then everyone in the office is able to pull those files automatically. Okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync. And now you'll see that it says it's found three photos because I've made three photo catalog cards. All right? So I'm going to jump out of Prolog Mobile. And instead, we are going to move into ProLiance. So I'm in a test project here. And we're going to navigate around uh, and talk about the photo catalog cards, but also all the other catalog card options. So on the left-hand side, under File Management, you can expand this catalog card folder structure and see all of the options we have here for the catalog cards. ACR, engineering reports, estimates, lead information, SWIP reports, 
etc. Now here, under Photos and Videos, this is where Prolog Mobile will integrate uh, into ProLiance. And so you'll see by looking at my Prolog Mobile screen that the information is still syncing. So we'll check back in a few minutes um, and go into these, uh, go into the new ones that we've just uh, synced. But you'll see here, if I scroll over, that here you can see the different catalog cards all based on room. So the corridor, tank storage, another corridor one. This is how those uh, room progress photos will look like. And when you click on it and you go to attachments, that's where those photos will reside. They'll all be in here. Okay. So again, I'm going to move this over to my other screen, and we'll instead just focus on ProLiance, and then we'll come back and check on all the ones that we just synced. So let's say you wanted to store your SWIP documents here uh, in a catalog card. Now, you may have uh, filled out the SWIP form electronically, or maybe you did it hard copy, and then you scanned it, and you have that SWIP form. If you want to very quickly upload that document into ProLiant so that it's a part of the project record, what you can do is you can click the Upload button. Now what it's going to allow me to do is browse for those documents that I have saved somewhere on my computer. So I'm just going to quickly go to my desktop. And I'm going to pull just a few photos that I have, or a few documents that I have here. And you can see that by clicking the control key on my keyboard, I can select multiple documents at once. So this file name here is listing all of the files that I have selected. And so with my mouse, I'm simply just clicking those items. I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And now what's going to happen is all five of those photos or those documents that I've uploaded are now catalog cards. So very quickly, so quickly, you're able to upload information into ProLiance and then that hard copy or that soft copy on your desktop is no longer as important as it was because you'll always be able to reference that here in ProLiance. So let's say I go into this catalog card. You'll see here that it's uploaded my document. It's auto-populated a number. It's based the title of my catalog card on the title of the file name. And that's all the information that's needed. Now, if I wanted to enter more information, I could by simply clicking Edit. So if I go into Edit, and maybe I want to enter a date, I can do that. If I want to come in here to Discipline, I can select something here. Say I pick Civil. So you can continue to edit the document however you want to, but it's not necessary. All you want to do is quickly and efficiently get your files into ProLiance. Now I'll click Save, and that information will be there for me. Now just a heads up, if I pull back over Prolog Mobile, you'll see here that my photos have synced, so that took a few minutes. You'll see that um, all three of them have synced, and at the end of my syncing message, I get successfully sent three of three photos. So that to me tells me that all three of my photo catalog cards made it to ProLiance. OK? All right. Now let's talk about your view options here. If you click on the View dropdown, you do have a few options. Here, I'm going to select the Catalog Card File View. What this tells me is I have my presentation file name, the title of the document, and the creation date. If you want to create other views uh, that hold the, uh, the information that you want, you can come here to Manage Views, and you can create your own view by pulling in the columns and the data that you want to see. Now, the other thing you can do 
is you can export this. So let's say somebody needed to see all of the SWIP forms that you had uploaded. What you could do is you could click Export, and it's going to dump all of this information into an Excel file. So if I click Open, an Excel file will open, and all this data will be present there. So I can email this, I can print it, I can do whatever I want to with it. Okay. All right, so that's one easy way to export that information. All right, so now let's talk about some of the other more popular catalog cards. I would say that the ACR would be a great one for the office to put in printouts of the ACR, and then which allows then their field teams to be able to pull up that PDF and print that out. Uh, it runs, it would be a lot faster than having your soups run that ACR by date report, especially depending on your connections, that could take uh, some time. But you'll see here all of the other options that you have. If you're doing certified payroll on your job, you can store all that information here. Environmental reports, lead, SWIP, permits. Photos and videos is very uh, important or most commonly used. POs, project directories, safety information. You as a superintendent, you could uh, print your schedules to a PDF and then you could store them here so that your office team or anyone else, some subcontractors, would be able to view your schedule that way. And so you'll see that there's a lot of options here. If there's an option here that you don't see and you would like, you just have to let me know and I can uh, make sure that we get it added for you. Now one other thing that I want to show quickly is you have the ability to move these documents. So let's say I accidentally did a batch upload and I moved some of these documents into the SWIP catalog card, but I really want them to be somewhere else. What I can do is I can highlight these and I can click Move. I'm now prompt to select a different catalog card folder. So I could instead pick Safety, click Select, and now those will be moved. So now if I click on Safety, I'm able to see those that I just moved over. All right. Now if I click on My Documents, this is going to give me a list of every single catalog card I have uploaded. You'll see in this project, I have almost 300. Now this view doesn't do a lot for me unless I want to search for something and I have a feeling that it was uploaded in the wrong catalog card folder and I'm just trying to find it. So what I could do over on the right hand side is begin to type in something like vestibule and click enter. Now I can see there's two vestibule catalog cards. And if I wanted to move them into a different folder so that I knew I'd be able to find them, I could do that. So again, by clicking on the My Documents, it's going to show you every catalog card that you have uploaded. And again, you could have tons, especially if you're uploading your photos. Then by simply just searching by a keyword, you're able to find those quickly instead of navigating through all of the different folders trying to find that. All right. So hopefully you're seeing the value here in being able to quickly upload any kind of file or photo and store it here in ProLiance forevermore. This just means that you no longer need to rely on that hard copy, uh, filing it somewhere or if you uh, get stored somewhere and, or if it gets lost, it, you no longer need to worry about it as much because it will have it stored here. So now let's jump back to the photos and videos and let's just see if our photos have come over. Now with the integration from Prolog Mobile to ProLiance, it did take a few minutes for those photos to come over into ProLiance. And then I would say pretty immediately uh, we'd be able to see those photos. Now we've only been on the phone for a few minutes between when I synced it and came into this view. 
So I guess we'll just see if we're able to view them here. I'm going to sort quickly by creation date. And you'll see here that two photos made it over, my owner update and my WebEx training. So now if I want to, I can come in here to my WebEx training. I can click on the Attachments tab. And I see now the two attachments that I opened or that I uploaded. Okay? So now if I need to add these to an owner update or email them out or do something with them, I can click on this, open it or save it, and then I can email it out or save it to uh, somewhere that I need to. Now there's also a way to quickly export these photos out of ProLiance. So if you need to kind of do a batch download, let's say at the end of the job, if you want to uh, save all of these somewhere, um, and you need to do a batch download of all the files, we, there's two ways to do it. There's an export function in Prolog, and there's an export function in ProLiance. And so once you get to that stage, you can just let me know, and I can work with the team uh, to help get those exported. Okay. So what we've done during this training then is we've showed Prolog Mobile and how you're able to capture photos, whether you want to pin those photos here or just create catalog cards. That can be determined by the list view or by the plan view. Okay? We've talked about the integration We've seen how quickly those photos come from Prolog Mobile into ProLiance. And so then if somebody needs to pull those files out for a presentation or for um, an owner update, uh, whoever's in the office is able to quickly gain that information. And then we've also talked about using catalog cards in ProLiance to store other information that you wouldn't find here in the other pieces of ProLiance. Like it's not a contract, it's not a daily report, it's not a submittal, it's everything that doesn't fall into these buckets up here. And so then we've showed how to quickly batch upload all the different files or photos that you want to. So let's say you have a lot of photos on your current job that you've stored on your uh, project folder or something like that. You could very quickly upload all of those by simply just going to your job folder on the Y drive or J drive, finding all those photos, selecting them all, and uploading them. That way you know that they no longer need to be stored there in that project folder, and they're stored in ProLiance. So that's all that I have for the catalog cards. It's a very intuitive tool, so I hope that it wasn't too confusing. Uh, now that we've added this component to Prolog Mobile, we're hoping that it allows you to quickly capture all these photos and get them saved as a project record here in ProLiance. So for those of you who have questions, I'm going to unmute all of you, and uh, we can have an open Q&A time. For those of you uh, who aren't able to stay on for the questions, thank you very much for attending, and let me know if you have any questions offline. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute everyone. Hey, Morgan, this is Mary in Austin.